Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Anamika's World of Science. So I was a bit uh, distracted from the YouTube channel because of some daily activities, daily jobs I have to do for my college. So I was very busy with that. That's why I cannot do any YouTube video for several days. So, but I'm back. So if you're watching my channel for the first time, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss another update. So today, what I'm going to uh, discuss with you is about uh, the cell membrane. So I know this is a it's a balanced topic of the previous video. So please watch the previous video so that you will understand today's discussion. So please watch the video. I will put it in the tag box so you can check it out and do watch the video and come and watch this video so that you will understand perfectly. So, I'm, so let's go to the lecture. Let's go to the lecture. So the first portion is the cell organelles. So, I have written here cell organelles and I have written as a subtitle as caution do not compare anything about its size. So, what I meant by that you will understand it later. The simple way is that uh, the cell organelles and cells are very small in size but they are doing a wide variety of activities every single second. So, that's why I have written as Cell organelles do not compare anything about its size and be ready and uh, if you have a favorite cell organ like uh, you may like uh, nuclease, you may like ribosomes, you may like mitochondria, you may like lysosomes, anything. So my favorite is uh, nothing but uh, nucleus. I love nucleus. So let's get ready and let's be excited for studying the cell organelles. Next you can see a cartoon, right? There's a nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes, lysosomes, vacuoles, Golgi bodies, etc. Right? So that is that if organelles could talk, that's subtitles. So if an organelle can talk, what will they say? The nucleus is saying that everyone do what I see. So he is called the brain of the cell. So everyone do what I see. So what mitochondria says? Ha ha ha. No. Mitochondria is saying that, ha ha, no. So ribosome is saying that, he 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 he, he's smiling. I don't know why he's smiling. Lysosome is saying that everything I touches, I destroy. He's called, I think the lysosome is called the suicide bag. Whatever the ingredient inside the lysosome touches, it will be destroyed. He's committing suicide, I don't know. Vacuoles. The vacuoles are saying that I feel quite fulfilled. And the Golgi bodies, Golgi apparatus is saying that I need a break. And the endoplasmic reticulum is saying that you guys be quiet. I have so much work to do. I think he's uh, studying in some college or he's working. He's full time work. And he's saying that be quiet you fellows. I have so much work to do. My God. So now let's go to the core regions of the today's lecture this until now it, it it was been a very funny experience i think you all reached fun out so let's go to the discussion cell structure so uh in this slide you can see three pictures right a cell membrane structure a cytoplasm and a dna right uh, so, these are the three things that are common in any cell. Whatever cell structure they are, these three are common. That is the cell membrane, the cytoplasm and the DNA. So, let's discuss what are these very briefly. So, that is the cell membrane which separates, which separates inside the cell from its environment. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid and fills each cell and enclosed by the cell membrane. It is a very jelly stru structure or jelly-like fluid and it is filled each cells. 
each cell and is enclosed by a cell membrane. And what about DNA? Mm, it is a molecule that contains genetic code of an organism. What it is? The genetic code. What is the genetic code? It is the it is a it is a coding. Like there is a binary code for computer, likewise a code for an organism is provided. It is a hereditary factor. It is a factor that is uh, got from your parents or from generation to generation. That's what we can call um, a genetic code or a hereditary factor. So the three photos are given so that you will understand what are these. First one is the cell membrane, second one is the cytoplasm. You can see the jelly-like structure. And third one is the DNA. Next is the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So I will give you a brief uh, what brief uh, introduction of what is this prokaryote and eukaryote. Likewise, I will give you the definition, the examples, nucleus, uh, uh, the cell size, DNA replication, organism type, chromosomes, ribosomes, growth rate, organelles, ability to store hereditary information, cell walls, plasma membrane, and cytoplasm. That is, we are going to study the complete detail. So the prokaryote is a cell which doesn't have any nucleus, a definite nucleus or a definite cell organelles. While in case of eukaryotes, they have a definite nucleus and a definite cell organelles. So that's what it means. So let's uh, now go to the definition, the real definition of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So in case of eukaryotic cells, any cell that contains a clearly defined nucleus and membrane bound organelles. It's what we call eukaryotic cell. That is, any cell, whatever cell they are, the cell that contains a clearly defined nucleus and membrane bound cell organelles. So, what is the case of a prokaryotic? They are any new unicellular. So, what is unicellular? Unicellular organism or organism, they, they have only a single cell that will do all the activities what a normal cell does. They have only a single cell, but they will do all the activity, all the wide variety of activity what uh, an organism does. They do everything that may be digestion, excretion, reproduction, growth, anything. So, any unicellular organism that does not contain, that does not, that is a negative statement, does not contain a membrane bound nucleus or organelles. So, what are the examples of uh, this eukaryotes and prokaryotic cell? In case of eukaryotic cell, the normal animals, the plants, fungi and protist cells are the examples. While in case of prokaryotic, there are bacteria and archaebacteria. Bacteria and archaebacteria? Are there any difference between a normal bacteria and an archaebacteria? So, in case of an archaebacteria, they are very primitive. They are still living till date, but they are living in a very harsh conditions, like in case of volcano, uh, in a very high pH, like in uh, pickles. They can live in glisters, that is the, you know, fountain-like structure, very hot, warm, very war warmy glisters. Bacteria are called yeah. active archaebacteria. But the normal go to the nucleus, so in case of nucleus, they are present in eukaryotes, but they are absent in prokaryotes. And in case of cell size, the eukaryotes are large they are at from 10 to 100 micrometers long, large. While in case of uh, prokaryotes, they are small, less than a micrometer of 5, less than. So you can just imagine how small they are, but they are doing wide variety of activities. DNA replication. DNA replication. So, a DNA replication is highly rec uh, regulated with selective origins and sequences in case of eukaryotes and replicates the entire genome at a time in case of prokaryotes. Very diverse. So, in case of organism size type, that is they are saying that whether they are uni or multicellular. So, unicellular are in case of prokaryotes and multicellular in case of eukaryotes. So, what is multi? 
multicellular they have more than one cell for doing a wide variety of activity they will be living in a cluster so humans are examples of eukaryotes and uh, multicellular organism while in case of archaeobacteria and bacteria in case of a unicellular organism so what is a chromosome we will detail study what is a chromosome it is a genetic material so a chromosome it's more than one chromosome in case of eukaryote but a long single loop of dna and plasmids in case of a prokaryotes my god so in case of ribosomes they are large in case of eukaryotes and they are small in case of prokaryotes the growth rate growth rate means uh, the replication or the division time is more slow in case of a eukaryote and they are fast in case of a prokaryote and in case of organelles they are present so organelles are present in case of a uh, eukaryote and they are absent in case of prokaryote about the hereditary information ability so all eukaryotes have this ability of uh, storing the hereditary information and in case of uh, a prokaryote also they also have this ability so that's why we can call the dna is found in both these cases uh, and in case of cell wall the cell wall is very simple but they are found only in plants and fungi but not in animal cell so there is a differentiation between a plant cell and animal cell the prime reason is that the cell wall is found in plants while they are absent in animal cells and in case of prokaryotes they are very complex the cell wall is complex and present in all prokaryotes plasma membrane is present in both condition cytoplasm is present in both the condition you can take a simple screenshot so you can study it in a future reference so the next portion is what are organelles so an organelle is a tiny cellular structure that performs a specific function within a cell each cell organ have different functions to do organelles are embedded within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic as well as a prokaryotic cell so the organelles the organelles are embedded that is they are fixed or they are found within the cytoplasm cytoplasm you know what is cytoplasm it is a jelly like structure or a jelly like substance so they are found within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic as well as prokaryotic cells in most of the uh, in the more complex eukaryotic cells organelles are often enclosed within their own membrane such as in case of humans the organelles are often they are often enclosed by their own membranes they have, i have given you some examples of cell organelles like uh, the first one is nucleolus uh, then the nucleus ribosome vesicle vacuole rough endoplasmic reticulum centrioles golgi apparatus cytoskeleton smooth endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria cytosol and lysosome they i have given i have provided 13 cell organelles and uh, yeah they are enough for you so let's discuss so first one is the nucleus so in this picture you can see the nucleus the violetish color oval shaped structure and there's a nuclear envelope that covers the nucleus and it is the membrane enclosing the nucleus it is a protein lined pore that allow materials to move in and out what is chromatin so you can see chromatin um if you closely look at chromatin it is a dna plus associated protein it have dna as well as some associated proteins uh, with the dna so that's what we call a chromatin so nucleolus nucleolus it is the center you can see a very dark whitish color uh, a circle or an oval in the center of the nucleus so it, it is the considered region where ribosomes are formed ribosomes are formed in the nucleolus endoplasmic reticulum there are of two types rough and smooth 
So in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is associated with ribosomes and they make secondary and membrane protein. They, may, they have makes the secondary and membrane proteins. They are different types of proteins. And the smooth endoplasmic reticulum makes lipids or fats. They make lipid or fat. So cytoskeletal. Microtubules form the mitotic spindle and maintain the cell shape. So they maintain the cell shape. Cell shape means that they have a definite structure for a cell and they will maintain. The microtubules will maintain the uh, structure of the cell. Centrosome. The microtubule organizing center. So uh, intermediate filaments, the fibrous protein that holds organelles in place. So microfilaments, fibrous proteins formed uh, the cellular cortex. Cellular cortex is formed from the micro microfilaments. And you can see plasma membrane there. Uh, and lysosome digest the food and waste material. So they are the one who is digesting everything. Uh, and as I said before, they are also called the suicide bag. Golgi apparatus, they will modify the protein. Cytoplasma, you can find it. Mitochondria, they are the energy site. So, I will give you the last summary what we have discussed. So, we have discussed what are the three things in common in cell. The first slide. What is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell? What is a cell organelle? Which are the cell organelles in the cell? Main functions of cell organelles that too very briefly. So, this is all for today. So, I hope the discussion was good for you guys. So, if you like it, you can also follow me on Instagram page that is at Krish12000. So, you can just uh, follow me. You can DM, you can detailly message me about uh, the suggestions, Q&As and anything. Uh, I will surely make a Q&A. I don't receive that much of Q&A. That's why I'm not starting a Q&A page. So if you have any doubts and uh, anything, you can ask me on my Instagram page or you can comment it. And the three things before you end up this section or before you go back from this video, you must do three things for me. That is, you can ask Q&As. That is a question and answer. You, you can share your valuable suggestions with me. And do like the video if you like it. Share the videos to your friends so that they will also get it, this information. Subscribe to my channel. So guys, I hope you all understand today's discussion. I thought I, I, I could make you more funny enough for studying these cell types and cell membranes, the types of cells and everything. So I hope you all understand. So if you like the video, do share it to your friends so that they will also get the power of knowledge. So share to your friends. Who gives me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you have any comments or ask me and that may be your Q&A, your suggestion or anything, you can put it in the comment box. I will check it out and I will surely give you the reply for that. Okay. So, and I will be taking the next lecture on cell, or the cell organs. Each and every cell organ. We can study to detail in the next ch uh, channel video itself. So, stay tuned. It's Anamika signing off. Bye.